right, this is SSL Family Dad with Simple Suburban Living, and today we're going to be doing a quick how-to on upgrading the RAM in your computer, whether it be a laptop or a desktop computer. Um, and the first thing that we're going to do here is try to figure out what type of RAM you have in your system, how much you can add, uh, what type of memory modules that you need to buy, and then I'll give you some advice on where to buy them, and then we'll go into a quick uh, um, how to on actually installing the RAM. So the first thing I, that I usually do, um, this is just the easiest thing that uh, that I found, is if you go to a website called crucial.com, um, it's just www.crucial.com, and this is a, a, a company, actually it used to be called Micron, that uh, sells RAM modules and other types of uh, computer components. They have a nifty little tool on their website. If you look right down here in this section, they have a memory advisor and a system scanner and the system scanner will actually just scan your computer it'll tell you exactly what kind of memory you have exactly how much you can add what the maximum amount how many modules uh, you can put in and whether they have to be in pairs or whether you can just get one so it gives you all the information that we need here so the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and click on that system scanner section and then go up here to scan my computer and click on that this is going to install a little tool that's going to uh, um, run that little check on the computer. So we're going to download the scanner. We have to agree to their terms. Um, actually, this is one of the nicer little tools. It doesn't include any junk uh, or other advertisements and things. So down at the bottom here, we're going to click on the Run button. That'll download and run. Hit our user account control, which actually happened off screen. and the scan will run and so this shouldn't take more than just a couple seconds here um, but this tool I found over the years and this has been around for quite some time but it really does give you all the information you need now uh, here's the the, the uh, results of the report and so I'm using a laptop computer here if you had a desktop it might look a little different obviously this is my HP laptop um, over here on the left hand side you'll see the specifics of what type of memory you have whether it's DDR1, DDR2, DDR3 and those are the type of RAM and this is the clock speed or um, that you have in here this is PC3106 um, it's actually 10,600 um, this would also take the 12,800 PC3 RAM um, and so this tells you the total amount of RAM you can have in your computer, the maximum amount, and that's a combined total of all of the memory modules that you have installed. This tells you how much you currently have. It tells you how many slots you have available. So laptops generally have two. Um, older ones may only have one. Desktops generally will have four, um, unless it's like a value desktop computer, and then it may only have two as well. It'll tell you how many available or open slots that you have. So those are slots in your computer that don't have any me memory modules in them. And then it actually shows you here, these are, I have two slots in mine. One of the slots has a one gigabyte chip and one of, them ha one of the slots has a two gigabyte chip. So for me, I'm actually gonna be upgrading the RAM in this computer soon. I would probably wanna go up to the max. That's just my preference. You don't have to do that. You could just go up to four gigabytes and you could add a two gigabyte chip here, replace the one, and then you'd have a total of four. Um, for me, what I would probably be looking for is two 4 gigabyte uh, memory modules. And so I would take both of these chips out and replace them each with a 4 gigabyte module for a total of eight. So you can choose whichever, how much ever money you want to spend. Here they actually have a kit for sale for 95 bucks. It's an eight gigabyte kit. Um, this is a pair. I like to buy them in pairs. This will tell you here whether it has to be per installed in pairs. Some some uh, laptops or desktop computers actually require it to be in a pair, meaning two matching modules of um, the same exact clock speeds and from the same manufacturers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, some of the laptops, like this one, it doesn't necessarily need to be that way. It will actually run a little bit faster if it is, though, and so I gen generally recommend doing that. So. That tells you all the information that you need to know about the computer. There's a bunch of different options to, to get RAM. Um, you can come to this website and figure out what you need, and you can go over to BestBuy.com or uh, use uh, um, Tiger Direct or Newegg or eBay. You can you know shop for RAM, whatever you'd like to, and uh, and purchase those memory modules. Just 
print this information out, write it down, and you'll have all the info you need. Um, the other thing that I would like to mention as well is the difference between 32-bit and 64-bit. So that has to do with the operating system that's installed on your computer. I'm going really to really quickly show you how to check that on a Windows 8 computer, and I'll explain how to do that on an, on an older computer. If you have a 32-bit operating system, so if you have an older computer running Windows XP, uh, maybe an older Windows Vista computer, and even some Windows 7 computers, running a 32-bit version of Windows. You can only have a maximum of 3 gigabytes of RAM installed in your computer. If you install more than that, your computer, it might tell you here that you can have four, but your computer will only read three of them, three, three gigabytes of, of the four that you installed, so you're wasting money. So that's something that you want to um, keep in mind as well, and it actually will tell you here, it actually kind of explains that. Um, it tells you 3 or 3.5 gigabytes is the maximum for 32-bit. In Windows 8.1, you can just right-click in your Start button, you know, right-click down there, and you can actually go up to System. And this opens up your system uh, information. In Windows 8, not without Windows 8.1, you can open up your Libraries icon here, and you'll actually see the sorry the computer here uh, listed on the side where it says this PC. You can right click there and go down to properties. If you're on a Windows Vista or Windows 7 computer, go down to your start button and right click on computer and go down to properties. And that's I, any of those ways will get you here to the system information. Um, and you can look right next to your operating system, system type, 64-bit. Yours may say 32, this one's a 64. So that's important to know when you're doing the, the uh, memory upgrade as to what type of RAM that you need and what type of system you have and how much maximum you can, you can actually have uh, installed. So that is all you should need to know. So once you have that memory um, purchased and you've got it ready to put in, we'll go ahead and jump over to that uh, quick demonstration of how you install uh, the RAM in your computer. All right, so now that we've done a little research and figured out what type of memory modules that we need for your specific uh, laptop model, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a couple demonstration models here and just go through the process of replacing the memory modules. So the first thing that you wanna do is just locate where the memory is located in your in your specific model. Um, I've got a couple uh, older laptops here and we'll take a look at these. Um, if you flip the laptops over onto their uh, under the lid, so you're looking at the back of the laptop, you should see a couple different little doors. Um, some laptops only have one, some have two, some have three. Most of them are, are labeled with some type of a symbol, either a little M like this one for memory, or it may have a little picture of a memory module itself. Uh, that's how you'll identify where the memory is located. If it doesn't have a symbol, like this one here, there's two access panels on the back, there's no marking or anything that tells you what's in it, you can just go ahead and pop them open and take a peek in there and uh, identify which one has memory in, underneath it. So the first thing you want to do to safely get the memory replaced is remove the battery. So locate your battery, usually they have some type of a locking switch on the back, go ahead and unlock it and spring the battery out. Set that aside. Next thing that we're going to do here is open up the laptop lid and just hold the power button down on the laptop for about five to ten seconds. And what this is going to do is just discharge any residual electricity that's left over, um, stored in any of the capacitors on the motherboard or anything like that. So we want to make sure it's completely dead before we dig in and touch any of the components. So once you've done that, close the lid, flip it back over onto the onto the top here. So we're looking at the back. So I've already identified that the memory modules are located under this access panel here. So I'm just going to take a small Phillips screwdriver and go ahead and remove that panel. Careful not to lose any screws. Most of the screws are actually um, won't pop out, but this one here they actually will. So go ahead and set that panel aside and make sure you don't lose that screw. And so in this particular model, this is an older one, there's only one memory module in here. Most new models are going to have two, so you'll see one's fit in this way and one fit in this way. With this particular one, we've got 512 megabytes of RAM 
And so we want to upgrade this to one gigabyte, and so we're going to replace this module with a larger one gigabyte module. And so what we're going to do here is go ahead and just put your finger on metal panel here that's surrounding the memory. That's just to make sure that you don't have any static that you're going to discharge to the actual module. The connectors and, and circuitry here on the module itself are very sensitive to low voltage, so any type of static electricity you might have in your fingers could actually damage it. And there's two little levers on each side. If you just take your fingernails or the tips of your fingers and just kind of press to the sides of those, the memory module will kind of flip up on a 45 degree angle, and you'll just pull that straight out from the edges. So then you've got your memory module taken out here, and you can set that aside. Now I actually don't have a replacement for this, so just for demonstration purposes, we're going to put the same one right back in. But you'd go ahead and get your memory module, uh, your new one, the upgraded one gigabyte, and put that in. And what you're going to do is just insert it again on about a 45 degree angle. There's a little notch here on the memory module, and there's a little notch in the compartment. You'll have to line those up. You can't put it in the wrong way unless you really force it, so don't do that. So all you do here is just kind of slip it in a 45 degree angle, make sure it's firmly inserted, and then using the edges of the memory module again, just snap that right back into place. And that's it. That's all you need to do to get that upgraded. Go ahead and replace your access panel cover. And hopefully we don't lose the tiny little screws, right? You should never have extra screws left over when you're done. And that's that. Put the battery back in your laptop. The nice thing is everything only goes in one way. And then you'll go ahead and turn the laptop on. Now, the first thing that you'll probably see when you turn the laptop on is you may get a beep or you may get a, a, a notice on the laptop that says new memory has been uh, detected. It'll usually tell you how much, and that's a good thing. Um, if you get some type of a blue screen or you get some other type of lock up or hang up as soon as you turn the computer on or, or beep codes, then you've either put the wrong module in there or something's wrong with the module that you purchased. Um, and so you'll want to take those out and put the originals back in and then figure out uh, um, whether you have a bad module or whether you maybe got the wrong one. And that's it. That's all you need to do to uh, upgrade the RAM in, in a laptop computer. Um, again, this is one of the, the in, most inexpensive um, highest performance ways to increase the speed of a especially older laptop. So um, hopefully you learned something today and if you have questions go ahead and throw them in the comment section. Um, I will be releasing uh, technical how-to's and tips and tricks and things like that on a regular basis so if you're interested in anything like that go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I thank you for watching and have a good one.